Welcome, curious minds and future change makers. Today, we embark on an enlightening journey to explore the wonders of our planet and the innovative steps we can take towards sustainability. Join me as we delve into intriguing questions that challenge our understanding and inspire action for a healthier Earth. Get ready to ignite your passion for science and make a difference in the world. So, grab a pen and paper and get ready for some fun. After each question, you'll have 30 seconds to answer before I reveal the correct response. Let's get started. Question 1. What is the most abundant greenhouse gas in Earth's atmosphere? Answer. The most abundant greenhouse gas in Earth's atmosphere is actually water vapor, but carbon dioxide is the most significant long-lived greenhouse gas. Question 2. Name one renewable energy source. Answer. Solar energy is indeed a renewable energy source, along with wind, geothermal, hydroelectric, and biomass. Question 3. What is the process of managing waste by reusing it called? Answer. Recycling is correct. It's the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects. Question 4. What is the term for the maximum amount of a pollutant that a body of water can carry without negative effects? Answer. The term you're looking for is total maximum daily load, TMDL, but carrying capacity is a related concept that refers to the environment's ability to support a population without negative impacts. Question 5. Which material is known for its high strength to weight ratio and is used in aerospace engineering? Answer, carbon fiber is correct. It's known for its high tensile strength, low weight, and high chemical resistance. Question six, what is the name of the large-scale ocean circulation that is driven by global density gradients created by surface heat and freshwater fluxes?
Answer. Thermohaline circulation is correct. It's a part of the large-scale ocean circulation and is driven by global density gradients. Question 7. What is the name of the process by which plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen using sunlight? Answer, photosynthesis is correct. It's the process that enables plants to use energy from sunlight to produce glucose and oxygen. Question eight, what rare earth element is commonly used in the production of electric vehicle batteries? Answer. Lithium is indeed used in electric vehicle batteries, although it's not a rare earth element. Rare earth elements used in batteries include neodymium and dysprosium. Question 9. What is the term for the variety of different types of life found on earth and the natural patterns it forms? Answer. Biodiversity is the right answer. It refers to the variety of life on Earth and includes ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity. Question 10. What gas is released during the combustion of fossil fuels that contributes to acid rain? Answer. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, is correct. It's one of the gases that can cause acid rain when it reacts with water vapor in the atmosphere. Thank you for staying with me up to this point. We've come to the end of this session. I hope you gain some knowledge today that will enhance your ability to understand the world and not be lost amongst peers during conversations. Knowledge, they say, is power. Staying informed is relevant. Subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Please don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, comment your score below. Until next time, stay blessed. From science to history, we'll uncover it all. With facts and figures, we'll never let you fall. Because this here to make education a fall. Yeah.